Hey guys, Tav here. So a lot of people have recently been asking me how I make the maps that can be seen in my time-lapse videos. So today I thought I would go ahead and give you guys a step-by-step -step guide into how I create those maps. So let's get started. But first things first, before we get going with the map tutorial, there are a couple of things that you're going to need to download. The first and most important of these is Paint.net, which is the software that we're going to be using. You're also going to have to download a couple of add-on plugins and a template which I've created for this tutorial. Links for all of these can be found in the description. When all that is done, we're going to get into the map making process. So you can see I have the template located right here, my desktop, and we're going to go ahead and open it. And that will start paint.net. Here you can see the basic template lacking an empire at the moment. So you're going to need to open one. And to do that, you're going to open your computer or daughter, as it says in Swedish here, because I'm using Swedish language. Um, then you're going to Documents and then Paradox Interactive. Then Europa Energy Cells 4. Then you go into Screenshots and you go way down here. And there you can see all your map screenshots, which you get by pressing F11 while in game. So we can take our my USA here, press open with and take paint.net and here you go. So now we're gonna select the magic wand tool, all tolerance way down below and we click this flood mode so that it sets to global. Then you're just gonna click on the new empire here then go up to edit, copy and then you go into borders first you click paste here, then you move up to empire and you click paste here as well. So we're gonna start off with spores here, so what you wanna do is just you uncheck this here, by simply left clicking, and now we will have borders only. So after this we go into effects, object, and object edge. I forgot one thing, you're going to need to Take the color picker first and uh, both left click and right click so that you select both the same colors here. Now we're going to object edge. There we go. And here you can kind of decide what border color you want your, your empire to have. So we're gonna pull this a bit down so we get a nice dark looking border. And then I like to pull this almost way up to the edge, something like this. Then maybe pull the blur a bit down, yeah, something like this. No, I'm pretty happy with that. You can zoom in, you can clearly see the boards here. It looks kind of good, I would say. But we're not done yet. We're gonna go into Empire next here, and uh, as you can see, it kind of lays over the border because it's not at full opacity so it's kind of transparent but what we're gonna no do now is that we go once again back into object edge but instead of having this as our middle color we're gonna change this to white and then we're gonna take this back to the usual now we're gonna move away from the edge a bit, more to blend. We want to have a bigger blur, I would say. Maybe even a bit more. It's kind of slow right now while I'm recording, but... Yeah, I can do a little bit more. Yeah, I think I think this is pretty good looking. Because by doing that you get a kind of hue looking thing. Which also looks pretty good if you ask me. And compared, it looks pretty bland without it. Okay, so with that down we're gonna move into text here. Now this part all in all was pretty easy, but uh, the most tricky thing to do is get in the right text formation in here, but uh, it is possible. 
it's gonna take some patience so of course you want to set your color to white and not this one you want to move to primary and then you go into effects and text formations and then you want to click circle text now here before you get started you want to show a proper font I think I'm gonna go with impact here it's pretty good then I'm just gonna write down the United States of America and you're gonna see a circle forming right here which can be pretty useful for some things but we don't want a circle here so you can see here is the rotation of the whole thing and it's 360 degrees and we want to lower that to maybe I don't know 70 80 you probably also want to change it from clockwise to counterclockwise so to get it laying down sort of you also want to change your radius here so you get it kind of big and of course you're gonna need to up the font size a bit so that you can see what is written okay that's pretty good I would say an angel angel I can go and start something like this then we can move it up here a bit yeah it's kind of too uh, there's too much of a, too much of a rotation still I think so I'm gonna lower this a bit more something like this get some more radius here change the angle of the start here the angle sorry and that's better actually but a bit more radius You might want to lower the font actually yeah that's pretty good but of course you can't move it more up here but what you simply do is click ok and then you can zoom in just move it up with the the move selected pixel so so something like this i think that's that's pretty good actually oh well so there you have it so this is the map tutorial so if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and as always, I will see you guys later. Bye.